This has been absolutely mesmerizing. Thank you for whoever left the comments saying I should watch this. This has been mesmerizing. I want to know more about who this person is. All right then everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be reacting to um, a song, I think, called Fake Monk by Chen Yu Hua. This recommendation came from the comment section in one of my other videos. This is absolutely blind. I have no idea who this person is. I have no idea what they sing about. I have no idea what I'm about to watch. I'm hoping to, uh, to enjoy it though. All right, let's get on with it. Let's press play. first impression that's beautiful you probably saw my face change when I heard him start to make that like haunting sound um this intrigues me this whole song intrigues me and also the the start bit of it like what does he mean he wants to be noticed but have people not know who he is is there something poetic about it and I'm not sure I can see the meaning of it right now I'm looking forward to hearing the lyrics What is this song about? Like, I feel as though I'm a smart and a fella. I'm trying to figure out what the words are about. There seems to be like this, almost like this friction of the seeking of human connection. You know, like if you if you see me struggling, get me a bowl of water. And if you uh, see me, then kiss me on the lips. And at the same time, he wants to be noticed, but he doesn't want people to know who he is. And he doesn't want to be followed by, um, by anyone. So like there's this weird sort of like friction of needing human connection but also needing time to be free I like I don't know that resonates with me I'll tell you what it does it's like you know you you read the literature on the importance of human relationships and you can't get away from how important they are when it comes to psychological well-being and yet there's also a space for being by oneself and being free of the influence of people. And I wonder if that's what this song is about. 
about the singer, it feels really special, this, doesn't it? If this isn't like a, a whole lot of things that I've watched before, and he's so enigmatic and, I don't know, um, dramatic, believable, I'm not sure. It's like the, the conviction with which he's singing this is really, really cool. So from the context, it, it feels as though this is part of a competition, you know, like a X Factor or American Idol or this sort of thing, possibly, um, by like some of the, the different shots that I've, that I've seen there. But it doesn't feel that way at all, does it? It doesn't feel like this person is in a competition filled with nerves, um, you know, tentatively trying to get through it. Like this feels like a a superstar performer, you know, this feels like someone who's so sure in their own skin of what they stand for, who they are as an artist, that I'm absolutely just wrapped into um, this person as a, as a singer, as a, as a, as a musician. You know, like how it feels like a, a calling. You know, for some people, music feels like a pragmatic choice. Like, yeah, I'm pretty good at music and I can earn some money that way. And for other people, music feels like a calling. Like, this is what they were born to do. And if they can get paid any money for it whatsoever, this is still what they'd be doing. It feels like this person has that. Man, how cool! Like, he's, like the voice is just totally. I feel like I'm I'm not new, no musician, but it feels like there's been a key change. Do you know what I mean? Like he's was singing at this place and now he's singing at this place. But some of those words, like you know, I, I, it's that there's friction between I want to know you, but I don't want to know you because if I know you and you're suffering, then I'm gonna feel pain too. And so he doesn't want that. And there's an anger here as well. And maybe the anger of sort of realization that you can't have both. You can't both have uh, you know meaningful relationships with people and avoid their suffering when they're suffering um so interesting lyrics haunting
this has been absolutely mesmerizing. Thank you for whoever left the comments saying I should watch it. This has been mesmerizing. I want to know more about who this person is. You know, I've, in some ways, I, I you know I don't classify myself as a reactor. Right? I'm just an academic that sort of like reacts to stuff every now and then to try and talk about mental health. Um, but I guess days like this and videos like this are such. I, mean, I get such fulfillment from reacting to videos like this because you know you you get that especially blind blindly because you get that warm feeling of knowing you've seen something special. Like that was special, like that was something out of the ordinary for um, for me, like I, I, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was brilliant. Um, yeah, and like psychologically that tension between, I don't know, to not know who I am. It's, it's like this bi-directional relationship between oneself and others. And like the barriers that we put up to one have freedom and to protect ourselves from hurt and the price that we pay by going that direction with human relationships relative to fully committing to them you know relationships are hard with anyone with strangers with um acquaintances with people that we love you know as soon as we get into those um those things then they can people can influence us and change our direction of travel in ways that maybe aren't for our best, for our, you know, for what we want. And if those people suffer, then we suffer as well. And so, yeah, it's just a, a poetic uh, microscope of that, of that human process with relationships. Honestly, absolutely brilliant. I hope I've made some sort of sense and um, yeah, catch up with me again with some, uh, some of my other videos. All right, take care, bye-bye.